Tony Blair shamefully led my party into the wars in a for Afghanistan and Iraq. Dutifully, dutifully following Washington, he was fully backed by the Tories. But dissenting voices in this place and millions on the streets foresaw the disasters the wars would unleash. Mm -hmm. 20 years on, mm -hmm. it's clear that these dissenting voices were right and that the British establishment was wrong. The wars took the lives of 50,000 Afghan civilians, more than a million Iraqis and 636 British soldiers. They destabilised a whole region. They undermined democracy at home. They made us all unsafe. And now the Taliban are set to regain power in Afghanistan. So does the Prime Minister agree that these catastrophic wars, Afghanistan and Iraq, show the need for a new foreign policy, one that is based on restraint and diplomacy, not military aggression? As I said earlier on, Madam Deputy Speaker, the circumstances in Afghanistan in 2001 demanded action. It was clear that uh, the, uh, 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 the US had been under attack. Article 5 of the NATO Treaty uh, was invoked. I believe that uh, it was right to take action against that brutal and ruthless terrorist cell uh, which was incubated uh, in Afghanistan. And actually, Mr. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, if you look at the, uh, I, 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 the uh, Honourable Lady uh, sticks up for uh, democracy or says she, she wants to uh, uh, advocate democracy. The Taliban had no democracy uh, okay. then, uh, Ma Madam Deputy Speaker, and nor did they educate girls in school. And if she refuses to see uh, what the soldiers, the men and women of this country, uh, the diplomats, the development uh, officers have done in helping uh, young girls and women uh, in Afghanistan, uh, and if she refuses to see their achievement, then I really think that she is blind to the fact.